Good day, my dear student. I am Dr. Rafi Ibrahim Abiodun, your financial accounting teacher. I'll be treating with you today the final account of a limited liability company. The final account of a company for internal use consists of trading, profit or loss account, profit or loss appropriation account, and a balance sheet. In our previous lesson, we have learned how a limited liability company is formed, and we are all familiar with companies around us, e.g. Coca-Cola Nigerian PLC, Zenith Bank PLC, ETC. Today, we are going to learn how company's final account is prepared, the learning objective. By the end of the lesson, I will expect you, student, to be able to identify the component of company's final account. You should be able to prepare company's trading, profit or loss account. You should be able to prepare profit or loss appropriation account. And you should be able to explain the following terms in company's final accounts. Interim and final dividend, reserves, preliminary expenses, and bonus. Company's trading profit or loss account. It is otherwise called the income statement. A company's trading profit or loss account is not significantly different from the trading profit or loss account of a trading organization, except for some special transactions, such as director's fee through remuneration, auditor's fee, legal and professional charges, the venture interest, income from quoted and unquoted investment, ETC. We now look at the layout of company's trading profit or loss account in both T format and vertical format, the T format. You draw your T ledger and you give it appropriate heading. In this case, we have XYZ PLC trading profit or loss account for the year ended 31st December 19 dash dash as the heading. On the debit side of the account, we have opening stock. We are going to add purchases. We are going to add carriage inward. You add all these together, you get a subtotal. You less return outward, and we get cost of goods available for sales. You less closing stock, we get our cost of goods sold. On the credit side, we have our sales, less return inward, and we get our net sales. We now compare our net sales against cost of goods sold. Where the net sales is greater than cost of goods sold, we have our gross profit. And this is added to cost of goods sold on the debit side, and we'll get a total. The net sale is extended downward to get a total too. Below it, we have our profit or loss account. On the debit side, we have the following item. Interest on loan, general expenses, salaries and wages, discount allowed, director's remuneration, auditor's fee, legal and professional charges, carriage outward, the venture interest, depreciation of fees assets, bad debt, motor expenses. All these are debited to our profit or loss account. On the credit side, we have our gross profit balance BD, discount received, income from quoted and unquoted investment, rent receivable, interest receivable, reduction in provision for that to debt. All these are added together. We are the total of our credit side item is greater than that of the debit side item. Then we, are, we, then we have our net profit before tax. This net profit before tax is added to other items on the debit side to get our total. You get the same total on the credit side of our profit or loss account. We now look at the T format of preparing trading profit or loss account of a limited liability company. In this case, you have our appropriate heading, XYZ PLC, trading profit or loss account for the year ended 31st December 19 dash dash dash. We have our sales, you less sales return, we get our net sales. We now less cost of sales. Below it, we have opening stock, we add purchases, we add carriage inward, we will less return outward, we then we get cost of goods available for sales, we will less our closing stock, and we are going to get our cost of goods sold, which is deducted from our net sales to get our gross profit. The following items are also added to gross profit, and this is on the side of profit or loss account. We are going to add discount received, 
rent receivable, interest receivable, income from quoted and unquoted investment, reduction in provision for that food debt. All these are added to our gross profit to get a subtotal. We now less operating expenses as follows. Interest on loan, general expenses, salaries and wages, director's remuneration, auditor's fee, legal and professional charges, the venture interest, depreciation on fixed assets, carriage outward, bad debts. All these are added together and they are deducted from the total that we have gotten up. And so the difference will give us our net profit before tax. At this point, we are going to have a short break. Thereafter, we continue from here. My dear students, you are welcome back. On this segment, we are going to learn profit or loss appropriation account of a limited liability company. The profit or loss appropriation account. This is an account where the profit after tax is being distributed. The directors will approve the distribution of profit in form of dividend transfer to reserves, ETC. This account is prepared after the profit or loss account. Definition of basic terms. Number one, dividends. What is the meaning? This is an amount paid to shareholders of a company from the profit after tax as a reward for investing in the company. Dividend can be paid as an interim dividend or final dividend. Interim dividend. This is the amount that the company's board of directors approved for payment before the accounting year end, that is, during the year. It is only paid to the ordinary shareholders. Final dividend. This is the dividend paid at the end of the financial year as proposed by the directors during the annual general meeting. Reserves. This is an amount set aside from the profit of a company for either a general or specific purpose. Preliminary expenses. These are expenses incurred on the formation of a company. All expenses incurred prior to commencement of a company's operation are termed preliminary expenses. Distributable profit. The Companies and Allied Matter Act of 1990 defines the amount of profit that may be legally distributed by a company. Certain reserves are not distributable under Camp 1990. The undistributable reserves are number one, the share premium, number two, the capital redemption reserves, number three, the statutory reserves, number four, the unappropriated profit. We now look at unappropriated profit. It is otherwise known as retained profit. This refers to the amount of profit carried forward as a credit balance on the profit or loss accounts. It is shown as a reserve in the balance sheet. We now look at the layout of profit or loss appropriation account. It could either be in T format or, vert or vertical format. The T format now, we will draw our T ledger and we give it a heading. We will write XYZ profit or loss appropriation account for the year ended 31st December 19 dash dash. That will be the heading. On the debit side of the account, we have the following item general reserve, corporate tax, interim dividend, proposed dividend, goodwill written off, capital reserve, preliminary expenses. Then we go to the credit side. We have our net profit balance brought down, retained profit balance brought down. We add these two items together, and the total of all items on, on our debit side is subtracted from it. We are the total of the credit side is greater. Then we have unappropriated profit or retained profit balance CD. We add it to other items on the debit side. Then we get our uh, total. 
we now move down to the vertical format of our profit or loss appropriation account. As usual, we will write the name of the company XYZ, profit or loss appropriation account for the year ended 31st of December 19 dash dash. That will be the heading. Now we now have net profit for the year. We, we, we bring the figure down. We have a retained profit of last year. We'll add it to it. We'll get our subtotal. We'll now list the following appropriations items. General reserve, corporate tax, interim dividend, proposed dividend, pre preliminary expenses, capital reserves. All these are added together and deducted from the subtotal that we have gotten up. And that subtotal is the net profit and the retained profit of last year that has been added together. You now less all the appropriation items from each. Then the final result becomes the retained profit or unappropriated profit for the year. So we are going to have a short break at this point. Thank you. My dear students, you are welcome to this last segment. On this segment, you are going to have an assignment. And the assignment is as follows. Using the layout stated earlier, that is the T format and the vertical format, you are required to prepare the income statement of Bakuri Company Limited. The authorized share capital of Bakuri Company Limited is 200,000 ordinary shares of one naira each. Below is the trial balance as at 38th of June 2010. You draw your trial balance. Remember, your trial balance will have dates, particular, folio, the debit column, and the credit column. Under the particulars, you write the following item. Share capital, one naira each. The figure, you take it to the credit column, 100,000. Bank loan, long term, 40,000. You take it to the credit column. Sales, 220,000. You take it to the credit column. Cash and bank balances, 27,525. Debit column. Purchases, 110,800. Debit column. Stock, as at the beginning, 12,000. Debit column. Salaries and wages, 25,500. Debit column. Rent, 15,000. Debit column. Telephone and postages, 4,650. Debit column. Mutual expenses, 7,220. Debit column. Stationaries, 6,740. Debit column. General expenses, 1,770. Debit column. Bad debts, 650. Debit column. Loan interest, 8,000. Debit column. Interim dividend, 5,000. Debit column. Provision for doubtful debt, 1,860. Credit column. Debtors, 18,000. Debit column. Creditors, 12,950. Credit column. Motor vehicle, in bracket, cost 180,000. 60,000 is taken down to the debit column. Machinery, in bracket, cost 180,000. 130,000 is taken to the debit column. Profit or loss account, balance brought forward. 58,045, you take it to the credit column. Add every item on our credit columns together. You get 432,855. You do the same thing to all items on our debit column. You get 432,855. Additional information. A. Closing stock, 13,500. B. Accrued telephone expenses, 750. C. Prepaid rent, 3,000. D. Provision for doubtful debts is to be reduced to 1,500. E. Depreciation is to be provided as follows. Motor vehicles, 20% on cost. Machinery, 15% on reducing balance. F. The directors propose a final dividend of 5 kobo per share in respect of the year ended, 38th of June, 2010. G. A sum of 20,000 is to be transferred to General Reserve Account. 
Thank you.